to complete the configuration we have to create input and output channels for the devices that were recently added. Switch back to the administrator application. Right click and refresh. Our devices are here. There are different ways how to create the channels. The first way is adding channels manually. This is the most difficult and long time way. The second way is copying the channels from the existing device. This way is useful when you have a lot of similar devices. You should choose channel numbers and click clone channels menu item. I will use the third way. I would like to use create channels function. First of all um, we should realize what channel numbers to use. The channel map will help. The last channel numbers are this. I would like to create channels starting from 1001. Check output channel numbers. Ch go to service, create channels. Choose our communication line. Tick the devices. Select our object. Our system have got has got only one object named enterprise. Input starting channel number. Click calculate channel numbers and validate the numbers of channels which will be created. This checkbox specifi specifies how channel names will be constructed. Click Create button. OK. Channels created successfully. Close the form. I would like to see what channels were created. Click Refresh. OK. Channels for the device 2. And the output channels. Because the configuration database was modified, we need to pass the changes to SCADA server. Restart server service. Also, we need to restart communicator. You can do it by this button, but I would like to use the communicator shell. You can see that the cell of channel is empty, but you have a you have to create binding between tags of communicator and input channels to allow 
to allow data to be achieved. Restart the communicator service. You can see channel numbers are appeared. Let's check the date. Open SCADA, SCADA server shell. Go to current data. Open data. There are our channels and data. Also we can check minute data. The first snapshot doesn't contain newly created input channels, but the last does. I can use a filter. This video doesn't include uh, the process of creation of the user interface that displays our data for the operator. I will create another video demonstrating it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Goodbye.